Hi, I'm Richard from ITS. Uh, I'm here today with Martin from Makita uh, and we thought we'd just talk through the best practices on uh, how to get the most out of your uh, Makita lithium-ion battery, whether that's in the 3 amp hour or the 4 amp hour. Um, so, so Martin, if I've bought myself a new, a new set of tools or some new batteries to go with my already existing family, um, what can I do to make sure that I, I get the most out of them and I get them to last as long as possible? Okay, so with your batteries, whether it's 4 amp or 3 amp uh, lithium, um, there is a couple of things you can do to make sure you get longevity out of them. Yeah. Um, the first thing to say, one of the most important things to say is when that battery stops performing, irrespective of what machine that battery is on, when it stops performing, charge it. Okay. So it's, it's where the old sort of uh, NICAD ones used to have to get them, run them all the way down as much as possible. Yeah. It's slightly different with these ones. As soon as you start feeling that, that power going, That's get right. it straight on the charger. Yeah. Yeah. So the old NICADs, they had what they called a, a memory for charging. Yeah. So if you only used 50% of the fuel tank and then charged it, from that day on, you would only get 50% of the fuel tank. Okay. Okay. So you basically half the, the amp hours of the battery. So it. <laughs> That was always old practice when you know when your NICAD started to fail on the product, as in you know not fail, but so you started you started to feel your drill you were having a little bit less power in your drill. That's it. Yeah, it stopped performing. Yeah, when it stopped. You know, people would walk around with a finger on the trigger. You know, let the power go down, down, down before they charge it, so you could get a full charge again. Lithium not that out. Lithium can be part charged at any time. Okay. okay? So it doesn't matter whether you've used 25%, 30%, 50%, it doesn't matter, you can just charge it up. Yeah. Likewise, on the charging, if you have run it down to a point where it stopped performing and you only put it on charge for 10 minutes, yeah, so you, you, you've only put 50% charge back into the battery, mm -hmm. you can take it off and use it, it's not a problem. Okay, so it is like your sort of normal batteries as opposed to yeah. old power tool batteries that have that sort of structure. Yeah, so it's what we, we call, you can part charge. Okay, um, and what about uh, heat? Because obviously these batteries, they do get really hot while you're doing this. Does that have any impact on, on the battery itself? It does, yeah, and it always has done. You know, for not just lithium, so back to NICAD, nickel metal batteries. Batteries have always been reliant on heat, yeah. They, they work on time and heat, yeah. So whether it's charging, or if you use it on the product, time and heat is always a factor with batteries. If batteries overheat, it cooks the cells, they go out of sync and it damages the batteries. Right. Which is why on our lithium um, chargers, when you put the charge when you put the battery on charge, there's a fan inside, it kicks in, there's a vent there, there's vent holes in the battery, so the fan blows cold air through the battery and cools the cells down. So not only does it recharge the cells, it cools them down. It cools as well. them down also, yeah. So the battery gets hot during use. It also gets hot while you're charging it, yeah. And if a battery gets too hot, it damages it. And that's all. It's always been like that. So uh, essentially, what we're saying, the way to get the best out of them as they are is if they're getting way too hot, get them on the charger, get them cooled down. Yeah. If you're starting to lose power, regardless of whether you've got two more screws to go in your job. Yeah. As soon as they start to go, get it straight on the charger exactly, as quick as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Don't let it the worst, run. The worst thing is people putting a screw in, it starts to die, they hold the trigger and finish it off like this. Yeah. It will damage the battery. You know, if you've got a jigsaw, you've got 150mm left to cut, the battery's dying, you keep forcing it through, forcing it through, it's going to damage the battery. Um, lovely, so, so that's probably the, the ways to get the most out of it. What about what are Makita doing going forward? Um, to ensure that it's a lot easier from a customer point of view to, to, to know and not damage your batteries. It's what we've started to do now, um, and it's been in place for uh, some time now, is the newer generation of lithium batteries now are starred batteries. So whereas we've always had a chip inside the battery and a chip in the charger and they talk to one another, okay, what we've now done, we've now gone a step further, and we've started putting chips in the product. Okay. So now you've got a starred product. So when you've got a starred battery with a starred product, 
it does one of three things. Okay, if you overload the product during use, so you're using it outside the parameters it was designed to be used in. So, like for example, you, this drill, is, drill bit. yeah, this is spec'd up to 38 mil in solid tim a solid drilling bit into timber. If you were to put a 50 mil into that, the likelihood is you're going to overload it. Yeah, you could jam the motor up and it'll burn it out. All right? But with a starred product, that won't happen. If you overload the product, the chip in the battery tells the product that it's been overloaded and it will cut the power. Oh, okay, so you won't have to do it, it'll just go and it'll, yeah. it'll you, be limp. Yeah, you can hold your finger on the trigger, but there'll be no power going from there to there. Yeah, hold that on there all day. It's not going to cut out. It's not going to burn out. There's no power to it, look. I'm still got my finger on there. So it just completely cuts out. So that's protecting the tool itself and, and the, the battery. battery. Yeah. Oh, excellent. So that's, that, that's sort of where everything's going to be going moving forward as, as sort of months and technology gets increased. That's it. You, you're, yeah. putting the, the, you're putting the... Um, the fail safes on these products, so yeah. there is no grey area, it's just going to cut out yep. as and when. So if you overload in it, it will cut out. And that's when you've got a star on your battery and a star on the product. Yes, it must be both, yeah. They, they're interchangeable if you've got a non star battery or a non star product. The batteries, you know, the machines are interchangeable. You just only get the protection circuit when it's starred and starred. Oh, okay. Great. So you've got the overload cut out, you've also got a thermal cut out. So Likewise, you're using your product, you've been using it for a while, long periods of time, your battery's getting hot, yeah? The battery will then tell the product it's too hot, it needs to cool down, and again, it will cut out. It will just out. cut out. Yeah. Oh, listen, so the main two reasons for, for decreasing in cells or damaging cells in batteries, um, power, you know, uh, putting too much... Overload. O overloading it, yeah. and getting too hot. They're, yeah. they're both the two things that you... Yeah. See, over, overload, and, overload and heat really come hand in hand. If you're overloading it, it's going to get, get hot. <laughs> <laughs> so they, them two come in hand in hand. So that's, that's the first two fail-safes. Uh, the third, and probably the more, more important one, is the over-discharge. Okay? So you're using your product, it starts to die on you. So people you know, finishing things off, forcing it through, damages the battery. So with the protection circuit, when that battery gets to that discharged state, stop performing, it will cut out. Okay. Just stop completely. It will, yeah, it will completely stop. You know, you pull the trigger, nothing will happen. Take the battery off, put the battery back on, pull the it's trigger. Still nothing will nothing. still happen. So you won't have this sort of monotonous last few breaths no, of life. It will just no, stop. It literally cuts out, and then the battery will not work until it's been put on the charger and had some juice. Oh, excellent. Well, that's, it's good to know that Makita, going forward, Makita obviously keeping up with the technology and advancing their own technology, making it easier, hopefully, for you, the end user, um, when you're out on site to get the most out of your batteries and get the most out of your tools. Um, so thanks very much for talking us through that. I hope that's been really helpful.